how much contemplation this summer did you give to the leadership role that you'll have to continue on and maybe even up to another level this year with all the roster turnover? I mean, there's always an awareness of what the situation is going into any season. Uh, from a leadership perspective, it doesn't change much in terms of just what are the specific things that this team needs to be successful. Um, you know, obviously, we have a lot of new guys, a lot of young guys. Uh, myself, Clay, whenever he comes back, you know, Draymond, Kavon, um, able to help set the tone for what our DNA is here, how we do things, our championship kind of mentality. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just about continue to do things that help me be successful and help me lead, you know, teams in, in, in the past and just let's just a level of awareness and trying to be as proactive as, as possible, making everybody feel comfortable building chemistry and uh, leading by example. Uh, I don't have to change much in that respect. Third row, right hand side, Phil. Okay. CJ Peterson, San Francisco Examiner. Steph, Steve was talking about, you know, you're one of the, you're the oldest guy on this roster now. So Stop I'm, reminding me. <laughs> how, how strange is that? I mean, just considering, you know, where, where you started, obviously, on this, on this, in this franchise and to be where you're at now. I mean, just hearing it's weird, but I'm still young. So uh, I wake up every day with a smile on my face with the opportunity I have in front of me, being in my prime, being able to play basketball at the highest level and do it. You know, with, with this team and in front of this franchise, or in front of you know our fan base, and and I know I have a lot, a lot of years left at this level, so uh, it doesn't change anything, but just make me laugh and uh, for people to notice some gray hairs that might pop out every once in a while. But other than that, it's it's kind of uh, business as usual. I, I do miss Sean and Andre for that reason, though. <laughs> <laughs> Third row, right hand side, Phil. Hey, Steph, to your right, Phil Barber, Santa Rosa Press, Democrat. Uh, have you got to run the court with D'Angelo a bit, and how, how are you feeling about uh, the two of you as a backcourt? Yeah, we played a couple times. We worked out a couple times over the summer, and we've had a lot of conversations about what it could look like. And, uh, you know, this next th three weeks will be important for us to create a vibe and, uh, you know, continue to build chemistry. Uh, excited about some of the stuff we talked about and and uh, some of the op options we have to kind of work off each other. Uh, I know, you know, the coaching staff and and whatnot have a a lot of opportunity to kind of mix and match lineups and try to figure things out as we go. And there's going to be a lot of fine tuning and 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 testing things out. But at the end of the day, two talented guys and know how to put the ball in the basket, know how to make plays for each other and, and, and teammates. And, um, you know, I've proven what we can do in this league. This, you, you have a confidence you can figure it out. Front row, right hand Steph, side. Steph, Tim call me the athletic. Uh, with all the new guys and maybe D'Angelo's side, is there someone, some factor that you're most intrigued by, to, most curious to see how this camp goes? Is there one area, one player that you go, okay, that, that could be interesting? I mean, I could talk to about every single guy that I've seen that's on the roster right now about what they could, you know, provide for our team, and that they're going to need to provide for our team for us to be successful. Uh, but in the, the day, I kind of don't know how things are really going to shape out. I, I'm just excited to get get going, um, playing a preseason game on Saturday, and and kind of seeing what the new looks going to going to be. And um, Every guy in that locker room is going to have an opportunity to help us succeed. I don't want that cheesy answer, but it's literally more relevant than any year we've had where doing it by committee and having, you know, guys take another step in their careers, solidify themselves as NBA players if they're, you know, young guys in the league and um, just continue to get better collectively and individually. Uh, there's an importance on player development more than there ever, ever, ever has been, so I'm excited about that. Third row, left-hand side, Medina. Hey, Steph, uh, what sense have you gotten from Steve and the training staff on what your workload might be this season? What would you like it to be? Uh, 48 minutes a game for 82. <laughs> it's pretty much confirmed by uh, Coach Curry just a minute ago, so very excited about that. 
third row, left-hand side as well. Steph, uh, Dan Wecky with the Los Angeles Times. It's, it seemed like teams around the league view you guys as being more vulnerable than you have been in the past years, and teams have stacked rosters and made moves. I'm curious kind of what your reaction is to what other teams in the conference have done and, and if it feels different going into the season, maybe without the exact same sort of expectations that have been exteriorly on you guys in the past. Um, I mean, every year since we've been at this stage, every team's trying to get better to knock us off when we won or or retool to just win a championship. That's what everybody's in this business to do. So, um, you know, look at every area of basketball, you know, for a team to sustain, to sustain this type of, you know, level of play and this greatness, it doesn't happen that often. Um, and when we, when you need to retool, uh, it may look different, um, but the the great teams, great players, you know, figure it out as they go. So, no surprises. A lot of talent and a lot of uh, you know powerful lineups that you look at Western Conference, Eastern Conference, whatever whatever it is. But um, we want to be a team that that's that's feared across the league. When you see us on the schedule, regular season, we get to the playoffs, um, that they know what they're in for. Uh, doesn't mean that. People are going to say we're the greatest or pick us as favorites or whatnot, but you know who those teams are, and we're going to be one of them. Second row, right-hand side, Ann. Steph Ann Killian with the San Francisco Chronicle. Steve uh, called this building a metaphor for uh, the new season and kind of all the unknowns. I'm just wondering personally, is, is that exciting to you with, you know, for four years you guys have been chasing – the championship and with a lot of knowns and a lot of expectations. What just what's the feel for you in the new building, new season, so many unknowns? Yeah, even being in this room is like weird. <laughs> I haven't gone through a certain routine for for me for ten years, and uh, knowing this 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 move was coming, um, you kind of had to just go through a couple of days, weeks, months, um, and just kind of get get used to the new surroundings and the new settings and new routines. As a team, for me, I've just been thinking about um, how it, it, this building is going to create an opportunity for us to kind of walk into a new era, um, appreciating you know the accomplishments we have, the five finals in a row, chasing more, um, you know all the things that we, that we did in Oakland and at Oracle. But for all the new guys, like, we're going to be a different team and to embrace that. And this building gives us an opportunity to create something new and create something special. Uh, we don't have to live up to a style or any expectation that we had in the past. It's more so just how are we going to walk into this new chapter with a fresh start. And um, that's easier to say with a new building than, you know, with the sights and sounds of Oracle, um, honestly, with all that happened in that building. So... I'm excited about that part for sure because, uh, you know, if you're a newcomer to this team or, you know, one of the young guys, you know about it, but you kind of don't know what it feels like, this can be something that we create, you know, on our own, and, and that'll, be, that'll be special and an advantage for us. Second row, right-hand side, Logan. Steph, you joked about playing 48 minutes a game for all 82. I'm assuming that's a joke, but and and all and honestly, how do you see your workload in this season considering that Kevin is gone, considering that Clay is going to be out for some time? Do you see an extra responsibility is particularly on offensive end this season? Yeah, I mean, I always say I have the same mentality no matter who's out on the floor and when working off those guys and knowing how I can make an impact on the floor. It doesn't mean I'm taking every shot. You try to make other players better. I've been fortunate enough to play with some extremely talented guys, uh, and we've all made each other better. But coming in this year, it's the same mentality. You just uh, you go out there, for me, have an idea of what I want to accomplish, how I want to go about it. Um, I always, you know, work off my teammates really well, no matter who's out there, and and try to uplift everybody. So I'm gonna have that same mentality. I don't know what it's gonna look like, how many minutes I'm gonna play. We haven't honestly really talked about it that much, but it's it's uh, it's just an opportunity to take another step and 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 and, and evolve. Um, and I put the work in and 
and will continue to do that for as long as I can. So uh, just excited every time I get to play basketball, looking forward to having fun, you know, playing, playing the game I love. Far back left-hand corner, Joe. Steph, as the uh, team's acknowledged elder spokesman now, just uh, kind of curious. I, Thank you. That was a better way to say it. <laughs> I like that. I like curious it. about your take on today's development, uh, the California governor signing that law that will allow college athletes to potentially be uh, compensated for their likeness and how that potentially could have affected you. Uh, I don't know. That's so long ago. I went through my college days, but anything that kind of speaks to creating opportunities for athletes to, um, you know, take advantage of, of what they put into their craft and, and, and you know, how much money the NCAA is making. Um, there's a huge, obviously, a, you, so many debates going on whether it's good or bad for the league. I love player-friendly things that, that put people in positions to uh, be successful and to get what they're, what they're owed and deserved. And so uh, I know Draymond's been very active and, and, and uh, kind of planting this flag on that. LeBron with the uh, having Mayor Gavin Newsom on the show and all that type of stuff. So uh, creating change and creating opportunity is huge. I uh, know there's still a lot of work to be done in that in that respect, but this is a nice step in the right direction for sure. Front row, right hand side, Anthony. Last year at Media Day, at number one topic was probably free agency. Not just with Kevin Clay was getting questions. Draymond was still kind of in an unknown spot. Uh, you guys, your main core now is locked in for at least three to five years. Uh, can you feel that around that cloud kind of lifted from the franchise a little bit? Uh, and does that help? Will that help you? Honestly, I think that conversation just blended, blends in with everything else that's uh, quote unquote change in terms of uh, the new roster, new building, uh, you know, what happened in the end of last year in the finals. So for us, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. And we've we talked about it a little bit, you know, in between our groups or over the summer of how cool it is for especially me, Clay, and Draymond that have been the, the, the young guys at one point and now, you uh, know, we are uh, the how'd you how'd you say it elder elder spokesmen that uh, that are now kind of leading the charge and locked in for the foreseeable future to to kind of reshape what we what we want to uh, you know accomplish and how we want to go about it. So um, there's a level of just uh, you know comfortability in that I guess as you go through and saying okay you know. We know who we are. There's new pieces. We're gonna put it all together, and we're gonna have the same expectations um, and just grind our way, we'll grind our way through it. Two more for Steph. Monty, left hand side, front row. Monty Pool, NBC Sports Bay Area. Um, you mentioned Andre and, and Sean, but what will you miss about them? What will have to be replaced, and can it be replaced? The things that they bought with you guys the last few years here, because they've been here for this entire run. I mean, it's gonna be really hard to they. Not just what they do on the floor and the intangibles and, you know, just that winning mentality that they brought every single time they stepped foot on the floor. Um, it was that kind of idea that you had two guys that just knew how to handle their business, were ultimate professionals, were extremely savvy and knowledgeable about how the game worked, how the business of basketball worked. And... You didn't have to worry about them. They they said the right thing at the right time. They led by example, and you respected them when they walked in the room because of you know who they are and what they have gone through in their career. So uh, there's there's an opportunity for somebody to step up in that role um, in terms of you know filling the gaps on the court from next to no standpoint and 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 helping us you know be successful and win games. Uh, and we'll develop the chemistry and and that uh, that locker room presence that that's needed. Uh, it, it, at the end of the day, my, you know myself, Draymond, Clay, we're gonna lead the charge in that front. You know, D'Angelo's gonna have a huge opportunity to be a, a vocal leader for this team, and he's gonna need to be. Um, but at the end of the day, there should be some unsung hero, some some guys that can step up in terms of uh, being consistent with their work ethic and, and, and demonstrating that every single day, being vocal and understanding that their voice can carry and, and helping us get to where we want to go. Final question, third row, right-hand side, Ron. Ron Krojic, San Francisco Chronicle. Sorry, no golf questions today. Um, you, uh, 
how, how much you guys obviously were looking forward to integrating Willie Cauley Stein in training camp, and he's going to be out for a while now. How, how much of a setback is that? And sort of a semi related question with that Looney's development last season was pretty striking from the outside. How much a step forward did he take, and, and how re- much more ready? In what ways is he more ready to take on a bigger role? I mean, he just could uh, answer the second question. Kavon just keeps getting better. Um, and whether it's talked about or not, he puts the work in, and uh, he's, he's come back from the, uh, his surgeries and his setbacks and just stayed steady. And I think that's important, you know, in terms of that could have taken somebody's confidence away in terms of, you know, putting doubt in, in what they are as an NBA player. And he's he's kind of, you know, moved on from that in, in a very strong way. And it's been it's been awesome to, to play with him, just to watch him grow, to see him have impacts on the biggest stages. And you expect that same kind of step step up this year uh, with the added responsibility, maybe a little added workload and, and whatnot. So we're going to rely on him heavy for sure. Um, and with Willie, it, it's a tough, tough blow in the early, you know, before we even get, get to training camp. But uh, hopefully in the long term, he'll, he'll come back strong and healthy. Uh, I'm excited to, to see him kind of fill that, that center position uh, in the minutes that he'll get out there uh, and add a, you know, a, rim, a rim attack, uh, you know, defensive presence, and just energy. Uh, when I saw him playing sack, like that was something that always stood out. He can run the floor. Uh, he can put pressure on the rim on both ends. And, you know, I think for for him, especially defensively, he can be a huge spark plug for us. Um, you know, kind of man the paint, blocking shots, uh, just being a force at the rim on both ends. And, and uh, excited for him to have the opportunity to play uh, with a team that, you know, hopefully is playing for something big. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.